we're terminating this crop of tomatoes, we go through and we want to top the plants uh, six to eight weeks before we go through and are going to remove the crop from the greenhouse. In a northern crop cycle, that's usually somewhere in the end of October, beginning of November, so that the plants are going to go through and be out at the beginning of December. So to go through and top the plant, We'll see that we've got our last cluster here that we want to go through and develop fruit. We're gonna go through and leave one fully expanded leaf above that. And we just simply go through with our pruners and go through and take that top of that plant out. And what we have done is we remove the main growing point of the plant, right? So it goes through and causes the plant to go through and continue to grow. Um, upward is the concentration of auxins, which is the plant growth hormone that goes through and continues to put on new growth. When we've removed this, now what the plant's going to do is it's still going to go through and produce those auxins, and it's going to go through and cause these secondary suckers that are left behind to go through and start to branch. So we'll top this week, and then come next week, we'll go through and we will start the continual suckering of these plants so that we're concentrating the plant's energy into developing these last sets of fruits, not going through and putting on more vegetative growth. So here you go through and see that this plant has been topped already and that we went through and when we were doing suckering, we missed one and that this plant had gone through and has already established in a matter of two weeks, has established a pretty dominant new primary shoot. So we have to go through and stay on top of things when things are topped to keep these tops out so that we're removing these additional vegetative growth that we don't want to continue to concentrate the nutrients into the fruit that we're going through and trying to develop before we take this crop out of the greenhouse. So we go through in here and see that this plant has been topped again about two weeks ago. And then you can see where we already removed some pretty dominant suckers. And since we removed those ones and removed the oxen, it went down and it sent it to the next one for a week later, right? And since these guys are smaller, we can actually just go through and remove them by hand like we typically would a sucker. So here you'll go through and see that we topped this plant. And then we went through and we removed a sucker, we removed a sucker. And then last week we missed this one. And now it's gone through and had an additional week of growth. So we've got a pretty dominant shoot. And this is to the size to where I'm not gonna go through and snap that out, where I'm gonna physically come in here with my pruners to go through and cut out. So next week, since we've removed that oxen again, it's gonna get concentrated in this next one. This one will go through and grow and probably be that inch to inch and a half long come Monday morning to go through and take out. So this is a variety of Roma tomatoes that hasn't been terminated yet, right? We haven't topped the crop out yet. Once we go through and we do that, so this is gonna go through and shows me that this crop is generally more of a vegetative crop than a generative crop because it's sending off these new growing point vegetative shoots off of the leaves. When we go through and we terminate this crop, that'll just go through and become even more exaggerated. We'll have a lot of these points that need to go through and be removed as well. Again, so that we're having the plant focus its energy into developing the fruits that are remaining on it, not putting on new vegetative growth. I like to go through and have a fallow period in the greenhouse of a minimum of one month, so there hasn't been anything growing. That goes through and helps us reduce and eliminate our disease and pest issues that may be carrying over from a previous crop. So you'll see here on this leaf, there's a handful of white fly that are on there. That the last thing I want to do is continue to grow this crop up until the beginning of January and then a couple weeks later come in and plant new plants because these will still go through and have some white fly pressure in the greenhouse that will then go through and affect my new crop that I planted in and I will fight them for the whole next year.